poultry farms are ticking time bombs. So if we want to kind of understand what is producing viruses with pandemic potential, it's not just dirty conditions. This is, this is kind of a myth. Basically, you know, viruses are already uh, around that, for example, are very deadly to humans. This is, you know, H5N1, for example. So it's already killing humans. 60% of the time they're infected. But what we're worried about happening is that H5N1 virus going airborne, becoming the sort of thing that could easily be distributed. That's why we don't have an H5N1 pandemic right now. And so what scientists are trying to figure out is when is this virus that's out there right now, that's deadly but hard to get, going to mutate and end up in a form that's pandemic. So it's all about viral mutation. So pandemics get created through virus mutation. The question is what kind of environment is going to create more mutations? Well, one is just sheer numbers. Right, so if I've got 100,000 birds, that's less of a risk than a million birds, than 9 billion birds. So huge numbers of animals on factory farms just multiply the risk no matter what's going on. Now the second factor is going to be how likely is that bird to get a virus and to be sick. But we've devastated their immune systems to make them grow fast, so they are very likely to get sick. In fact, we're basically just propping them up and keeping them a little bit above death through the use of drugs. And so we've got extremely sick animals in confinement. The likelihood they're going to have the viruses are very high. It's only a question of whether the mutation that's going to become deadly to humans will happen, which is only a matter of time. Poultry farms are ticking time bombs.